Um, and yeah, I, I want to make things and I want to make things that leverage, you know, 3D printing and um, digital experiences, but it's easier just to keep momentum uh, in working on kind of like primary tech stuff, but more and more as my ability to appreciate art has grown back <laughs> after the trauma of getting a fine arts degree. Um, <laughs> I've also wanted to be like, there are things that come to mind that I'd like to see and I could make and that would be cool. Um, um, just for my, my own edification. Um, and another thing is I want to show and tell that NFTs are more than JPEGs and GIFs of 3D renders. You guys, it's so much more. I was than getting that. to that. I was getting to that. You know. <laughs> so I, could, I, I'd like to. to... Do I, no, the thing is, like, how do I even say, okay, this is worth that much, right? Of course, you know, there is some some explanation, but then, you know, how do I explain this, you know, artist or or let's say my grandma, like, hey, you know, this is worth X amount of money, and then it is, I cannot see it, I cannot touch it, I cannot feel it. It's nothing, right? So, so how do I explain that? <laughs> um, or or how would you explain your own grandma? Let's say, you know. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the business bro logic exists at the base level, which is the price is whatever the market will bear, bro. Um, <laughs> no, you know, the value of, of, of a work of art is whatever the last person paid for it. Um, yeah. And even then, that's only hypothetical. Who knows yeah. what the next will pay for it? Could be a down round, as we call it. <laughs> um, but so on the level, that's it. That's the value of an NFT whose only like smart contracted logic is to prove that this thing is this thing, or as uh, you know, followers of Rand would say, A is A. So this this JPEG is this JPEG, and there's proof. And that's a screenshot of this JPEG because this is this JPEG, um, which is proven because, you know, super briefly, the blockchain is, uh, each block is, you know, a bit of information. So it's, this is what the file size is, you know, whatever is included in, in the thing. And then, so that's the, the block of the pieces of data. And then it's chained with, there's like a fingerprint on this side and a fingerprint on this side and each of these are unique and so the block behind it has the convex match to this concave one if you want to think of it as lego that are like super unique shapes that can only fit together in one way and so it proves that this happened at this time because it exists between these two blocks which happened at this time so there's no way to adulterate every single one of those blocks in the chain when you have to get everybody in the world to collude to change or half the 51% uh, of the people in the world to collude to change the information of a single block every single time on a chain. That's why you can have, you can trust that this happened at this time. And time, as Einstein taught us, is just a, you know, a relative expression of, you know, a, a point in, in uh, the universe. And, and so that's what an NFT that's just a JPEG is, is it's just this thing can prove that it was this piece because it's also touching this piece which is also touching this piece and so they all hold each other's alibi <laughs> of where they were um but what non-fungible technology allows for in you have an object that comes with it imbued the potential to contract in uh, a whole suite of um abilities um uh, privileges, duties, etc. Say you have an NFT that comes along with um, a picture. Like part of the file is a picture of a concert ticket that you the QR code concert ticket. Um, what the NFT logic allows for, because you can trust that this is the legitimate thing and it's not just a screenshot of it, then you can allow for a lot of extra abilities, um, like uh, extra access at a concert or the fact that you got this concert validated at this time means that you have these unlocked capabilities 
um, afterwards and you have you know a one percent stake in the song in the song that debuted at this concert leveraging something like royal you have something that could create take a work of art and add interactivity to it can add other dimensions to it that you that only the holder of that nft could possibly access and prove that they are the one that has the right to access or um stewardship if you think of like a co-op uh or a community or or a uh, secret site whatever um that um that work can do um but right now we're seeing uh gifs of a screen recording of a 3d render and and uh eight bit jpegs as the predominant use case <laughs> same reason that Beanie Babies were popular for the same reason that tulips were popular. It's not that the NFT market is going to pop like those, but maybe um, the provably rare but categorically common NFTs created in this time um, will have a uh, differing value that changes over time as market tastes change, but the abilities that those NFTs imbue will never diminish.